welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to do an example of what we just proved, which is showing that regular languages are closed in their suffix. So I'm going to create an example right now. I have not done this bef um, example before. This is completely done live. So let's look at a particular example right here, which is going to, I'm going to make it a finite language so we can actually see what the actual suffix language should be and then actually make the NFA and then the corresponding DFA for it. So I'm going to have the language 01, 1, and uh, 0, 0, 1, 0. So just those three strings. Well, we can easily make a NFA for just these three strings by uh, making a small NFA for each one of them and then unioning them all together. So I can make uh, a state here, 0, 1 to get the 0, 1 part. I can make one for just the 1, and I can make one for 0, 0, 1, 0. And then I'll make a start state Q0, which has an epsilon transition to all of these three. So if we label these up, so let's call it Q1, 2, 3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8, Q9, Q10. So now let's make the corresponding DFA for this. You don't have to do this purely for the example. I'm just showing you how you can do this in a uh, brute force way in some sense. So there's no special thinking that is needed here. For the finite language here, I'm just making the NFA directly. I'm not thinking about how the DFA should look like. Okay, so then recall the epsilon closure of Q0 is going to be any state we can reach with epsilon transitions, which is going to include these three right here. So I'm going to have a state Q0, Q1, Q4, Q6. And then, so now we got to figure out where it goes on 0 and 1. So on 0, the states we can go to are Q2, Q4 doesn't have anything on 0, and Q6 goes to 7. So on 0, we can go to Q2 and Q7. And, and there's no epsilon transitions after here, so we don't need to worry about epsilon transitions and closure. For the one transition, the only one that matters is Q4. Oh, that should be a final state. The only one that matters is Q4 because that's the only one that has a one transition out. And so therefore, the only state we can get to is Q5. And then, so let's see, from Q2, Q7, where can we go on zero? Well, the only state we can go to is Q8 here. And then on input 1, where can we go on Q2 and Q7? We can only go to Q3. So now it's going to devolve into single states, which is nice. So then Q8 can go nowhere on input 0. So I'm going to come down here because this diagram is going to be a little messy. And I'm going to have a state, which is the dead state, the empty set state. And so... Uh, if you're in Q8 and read a 0, you're, you won't accept. And it's pretty clear that you won't because if you see a 0, 0, 0, three zeros in a row, well, that's not a string in the original language, so that's good. Uh, on put 1, we can go to Q9 from there. On uh, input 1 from Q9, we go to the dead state. On input 0 from Q9, we go to Q10. And from Q10, reading anything, you go to that dead state. And from Q3, uh, if you read anything, you go to the dead state, which is good. And if you're in Q5, if you read anything, you go to the dead state. And most importantly, the final states here are anything that involves Q3, 5, or 10. So that's going to be uh, 5, 3, and 10. And we can actually see that we get the right strings because 1 is accepted, 0, 1 is accepted, 0, 0, 1, 0 
is accepted. And there's no loops back to these four states up here, so we get exactly the um, language that we want. Okay, so now what we need to do is to do this construction on the suffixes. So just like before, I'm going to make this blue state right here, light blue, Q0 prime, and it has an epsilon transition to every state. So there's no uh, rhyme or reason here. I'm going to do a branch off like this to make it uh, clearer in the diagram, but uh, it has an epsilon transition to every single state here. So then we have an epsilon transition to here, epsilon transition to the dead state, although going to the dead state is going to do nothing for us for the NFA. And uh, we need one for Q3 also. Okay, so let's actually figure out what the suffix language of this thing should be. So, so what uh, suffix of L should be. Uh, I'm not going.